Hello everybody, and welcome back to Metro 2033. It's been a while since we've covered one of these videos. Simply because, well, other releases have come out and held my attention. But, uh, I'm just checking some stuff because I want to make sure I'm back in date, you know, okay? I mean, this chapter is, now you got ducked there. This chapter is reasonably difficult if you don't know what you're doing, which I didn't on my first time. I can remember getting pretty angry at this section. That's because of one thing you have to do at the very beginning here. So if you approach now up here, I believe it is, you'll see a light. This is from a red. Actually, Nazi it could be a Nazi. And you have to kill him immediately. The second you see him, you shoot him dead. Because... If he's all thrown away until uh, set off the alarm, a gate will drop down and it makes it so much different, more difficult. In fact, I never survived it because it was that difficult. I don't even know if you can, but with this way you get out really quick. And pray you don't get hit too much. I think well, but I get hit on my exit watch. Yep, once so. Ah, uh, not too much, but here's what happens to me. I stand up, I think. I hit loads. Duck down again. I don't know how he hit me, but I did, you know. I took two of them. I'm just going to use a mad kit because there's two of them there. We have two mad kits, which is uh, pretty fairly decent, if I'm honest. Here, they blew it up. And much of this is scripted, you won't be in any danger here as long as you stay ducked. Or maybe you can even stand. No, because see there, you'll get knocked, probably. So just stay ducked. There's literally no point to stand. In these sections. And we're about to be running into our friends, not sauces yet again. And they are a pain in the ass. But they're only a problem on this section when they jump onto the cart. So you don't have to shoot them before they jump on. You can shoot them when they jump on if you actually wish to save ammunition like that. Which, try not to use the AK against monsters. The AK against, well, monsters and creatures and stuff like that is highly un unrecommended for me because the shotgun shells put them down so much faster. Simply because, well, shotgun shells, if you hit them with one at closest range, they'll go down instantly. And as long as you aim for the upper body. And the video shouldn't be this long, but I found a secret stash and was exploring a little bit of it. It's quite handy to have. I don't know what was hurting me there, I didn't know. So where's one, two. For any reason my reloading was acting up or it was like a delay on my reload. Like I could click it here and it wouldn't happen the end until there. So that can be a bit difficult. But that's the first major bug I've had with the game. Like, big bug of heart. Keep firing. It's it's easy enough as long as you as long as you don't have this bug, which means you'll be on certain of your ammo count. And I have to use the other med kit here simply because it's it's too much. It really is just too much. I almost go down. I use it. Shoot him. And this marks the end of this action. This guy gets pulled off. And now we're on our own for for once in a while, you know, we're finally on our own again. Which is another thing to have since you've had so many people with you. So, the, so many people with you throughout the game. It's a nice change of pace though. You can't really rely on uh, your allies to block shots for you anymore or just do all your work for you. So you've got to do put in your own work. Which, all this is just leading to saving bullets at the end game. And the next section, you will need ammunition. You will desperately need ammunition. If you don't have ammunition reserved, well then... I wish you luck, because... I waste, I think, something like 60 rounds. 60 rounds of me AK, almost. And, like, um... Around 20 shotgun shields. No grenades or anything like that, but it is... The next section is one of the worst sections in the game. Like this, like the entire level is just bad. The begin, the 
survival section, then the child escort section. Oh god, I hate that section so much. It's short, and you can just run through it if you really wanted to. But it's one of the worst things I ever had to experience in my life. Because, well, you'll see next in the next section anyway. Why it is overall such a terrible section. Anyway, pretty much at the end of this. And I do want to talk about, you know, things like the Q&A. The Q&A is delayed, as you know, if you saw my video yesterday on it. You know, I recently took a job somewhere. And that will hinder my progress on Saturdays. I'll be four to six hours, maybe. To be in between that, which I don't mind. I actually will enjoy working. Because of the... And I'm not going to say the location, the place, the time. Anything. I'm not going to say anything of that. But, um... Yeah. It, sh it should be a bit of fun, if I'm honest. Like, alright, I have loads of fun doing this. Because, and if you don't hear my voice, I, but I genuinely avoid, enjoy doing this. And this does ever end up taking off in the thing I could do as a full time, then great. I would love that. That'd be my dream. Just to play games. Get, I really do want to get better at everything. So I just took my mic there. <laughs> I, I panicked here because I thought I heard a, like, uh, a creature drop down. But uh, I just seen that video I made on Space Hulk, the 1 minute and 30 second one. I, I genuinely love that type of editing. I find things, I've edited things, not uploaded them, and just had fun doing it because I find I find the end product very satisfying even if I don't let other people see it. Enjoying this is such a big thing of mine. I love the editing part. I actually love exploring the game because I never would have played this game unless I did a guide on it, if I'm honest. Loads of things I wouldn't try if I hadn't done a guide on it. You, you, you realise that hard, the hardest difficulties aren't really that bad if you can just push on through them, because then you get so much better at the game. Which has always really been my thing, I love doing harder difficulties. To an extent, I have I, the harder difficulties bullshit, then I won't do it, and fuck that. Like, I don't like Dante and Mustang, Devil Moon Cry, but I've already said that hundreds of times. So there wasn't much ammo up there, because we've already got full ammo. You know, we're doing really well. And the next section just drains you. We get some bullets here. I believe. Yeah, we get some. I get some military grade ammunition. And we head up into the next section, which is the level ends up through that tunnel up there. Anyway, guys, I have to thank you for your patience for the delay on the QA. I have to thank you for that, number one. I have to thank all those who keep watching and will continue to watch. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.